We had talked about the demo that got the deal for Mott the Hoople way back when. Yeah. You, um, could you relive that for us? There was no oh, demo. It was, uh, it was in uh, Region Sound, which was uh, in Denmark Street in London. And um, they were auditioning, and the guy that ran Region Sound was the only guy I knew in London. I was working in a factory in North London in the archway. And... Um, he rang me up and he said, here, these, and I'd seen the ad in the paper, but I hadn't answered it. But he rang up and he said, they passed on everybody, you might as well come down. And I said, well, you know, I'm not really a piano player, I'm not really a singer, because I was a bass player. Oh. And uh, he said, yeah, but you know, because I'd done some demos for him, he said, it wouldn't hurt, come down, you know. He said, they're really strange, so maybe they'll like you, you know. <laughs> and that's how that happened. Yeah, I went in there, I think I did laugh at me, something like that, um, which went down really well. And then, uh, in, emboldened by the initial uh, enthusiasm, I got out my bass and played this solo on the bass, which ruined the whole thing. And in the end, they just sort of said, well, we'll have him until we get somebody else, you know. <laughs> now, who... somehow, somehow it just it worked out, you know. And Guy Stevens was in uh, producing? Yeah, Guy was there that night. I thought he was one of the band. Oh, <laughs> And he was the one that wanted me in, you know. Uh, the band weren't too sure at all. And then after about nine months, Guy decided he didn't want me in, but by that time the band wanted to keep me in. So it was like really dodgy there for about the first, you know, nine months. Well, we're glad you stayed. Well, so am I. <laughs> like, uh, desperation. Uh, desperation was approaching, you know. We had uh, Peter, Peter Wolf from Jay Giles on, and uh, he said for his solo deal it was the the uh, deal that got the demo because they wanted a demo after they gave him the deal. What happened with the first Ian Hunter solo record? Uh, how did how did the deal come about for that? Well, I think it was on Columbia. It was CBS. I left. I left the band, and uh, I don't know. I, they, uh, I just went in and did the first record. You know. Oh, so it was just I, a continuation. I mean, Dick Asher was one in CBS at the time, and he liked me. You know. So it never really came up, you know, I just went in and did the next record. We like to hear that. 